Hi guys, Dane here, and welcome to another episode of Five Bookish Facts. For the observant amongst you, yes, I have had a haircut. I also have a spot on my nose, but we're not going to draw attention to that by mentioning it. Oh shit, I just did it, didn't I? Before we get into today's episode, so one thing I wanted to mention is that I'm always looking for suggestions for new episodes, so please do let me know in the comments if you have suggestions. I'm kind of running out of ideas, and I I know there have been suggestions that I kind of haven't done. I'm trying to stick to doing episodes about authors or books or genres that I have experience in. I don't know, I just feel a little bit of a hypocrite doing an episode on an author who I've never read, I think. So I'm trying to stick to that. That said, I read a lot of stuff. So, so if you do have any episodes, let me know in the comments below and I will see what I can do. In the meantime, I'm just kind of slowly going through my bookcases and seeing who I've got who might make a good episode. So today, we have Dan Brown. Yay! Dan Brown is the Nickelback of literature and everyone loves to hate on both Dan Brown and Nickelback. And I don't know. So without further ado, <laughs> Five bookish facts about Dan Brown. So Dan Brown was born on June the 22nd in Exeter, New Hampshire, and his parents were both quite interesting people. So his, his, his father was Richard G. Brown, and he was a maths teacher and a textbook author, and his mother was Constance Brown. She was a church organist and a musician. And you can kind of see how both of those fed into his creative side, I suppose. As a young kid, Brown was really interested in puzzles and secrets. So his, his dad used to create treasure hunts for both Dan and for his three younger siblings and for example one one Christmas he gave them a treasure map that led towards where their gifts were as opposed to just putting them under the tree or in a stocking or whatever. So fact number two and this kind of again builds off both his dad's career as a textbook author and his mom as a church organist so before he became a novelist he wanted to be a sort of a musician a singer songwriter and he does have some albums out I think there are four yeah there are four music CDs basically after he graduated from Amherst College he started writing and recording albums he has four music CDs out he never really got a huge following and he kind of gave it up because he was a bit of a recluse a bit like me basically so fact number three is that back in 1995, Dan Brown wrote a book using the name Danielle Brown. So he co-wrote it with his wife. It's called 187 Men to Avoid, a survival guide for the romantically frustrated woman. He also co-wrote The Bald Book with his wife in 1998. Fact number four, again like me, Dan Brown never takes a day off, so his routine, basically he gets up at four o'clock in the morning to write his books, which is about when I'm going to bed, <laughs> and he writes seven days a week as well, even during Christmas. Another thing that he does while he's writing is he takes a break every hour to do some push-ups, which is something that I definitely do not do. What he has, he actually has an antique hourglass on his desk, so he'll turn it over, and then when the sand runs out, he does his push-ups, resets it, and continues. And fact number five is that Dan Brown's house is like something out of one of his novels. So it's a $10 million house in New Hampshire, the United States. And it's basically got secret doorways, secret passageways, little hideaways. His office where he writes his books is behind a painting. So you press a little button on the painting and it opens up the door to his office. It's also got a huge library as any self-respecting multi-millionaire author would have. And uh, it's got copies of all of his books in each of the languages that they've been published in as well. He calls that library the Fortress of Gratitude. And of course, it has lots of secret passages as well. There we go. There were five bookish facts about Dan Brown. Let me know in the comments below if you knew any of these facts. Let me know if you've read any of his books, to be honest. And uh, yeah, any suggestions you've got for future episodes. And uh, yeah, in the meantime, hit that like button, hit subscribe for more, and I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.